Hello friends, this video on Biomolecules Part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's talk about oligosaccharides. As I told, oligo means few. Right? Few means any carbohydrate which will give you 2 to 10 monosaccharides or 2 to 10 sugar molecules. And they're found in the plasma membrane of cell. This membrane, right? The cell wall, this is formed. And they are used for cell to cell recognition. Cell to cell. Correct? Because two different cells interact, they recognize each other. They do it using this oligosaccharides. They are also found in milk. Maltose is one good example. They are found in vegetables like potatoes. They are found in sugar. That is sucrose. So this is an example of sucrose. In this in milk I have maltose. And this I have lactose. They are oligosaccharides. And most of them you see are disaccharides. They will give two molecules of carbohydrates or monosaccharides. So oligosaccharides will have either Two or more than two, but less than ten. Two to ten sugar molecules they'll give on hydrolysis. For example, if you see, this is one example of oligosaccharides. They are linked by a glycosidic linkage. It comprises of one glucose and one fructose. And this is an example of sucrose actually. This sucrose, if you see, has one glucose, one fructose. So if you do hydrolysis, you'll get one glucose and one fructose. We'll talk about these in details when we talk about sucrose. Just understand the oligosaccharides, they have two to ten different monosaccharides joined by this glycosidic linkage. We'll talk about glycosidic linkage in the next few slides. Just understand there's a linkage called glycosidic linkage that joins two monosaccharides. Correct? So oligosaccharides are found in milk, vegetables like potatoes or in sugar. The one in sugar is sucrose, the one in milk is maltose, right? M for milk, M for maltose and uh, the one in vegetables are lactose. And they're used for cell to cell recognition. So in oligosaccharides, they told there are different types, disaccharides, trisaccharides, tetrasaccharides like that. Disaccharides is the most popular one, so we'll discuss about disaccharides now. So now let's talk about disaccharides in detail. As I told, this is the most important type of oligosaccharides. So here, the disaccharides on hydrolysis will give two molecules of monosaccharides. They can be same or they can be different, right? And these monosaccharides are joined by oxide linkage by the loss of water molecule. And this linkage is called what glycosidic linkage is not this linkage is called glycosidic linkage here if you see this OH and here this OH yes combines the C1 of glucose and C2 of fructose they combine, you see this, there are two OH, they combine and they lose one water molecule, right? So they lose one water molecule and they form O bond. So if you see, this is my C2 and this is my C1. Please don't be uh, confused. This is, this reacts with this. OH does not, does not react with this hydrogen. This OH reacts with this OH and there's a loss of water molecule and they form a glycosidic linkage, right? And this glycosidic linkage is nothing but a covalent bond. They join these two carbohydrates molecules together. Correct? This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Please pay attention here. This OH and this OH combine. That is C1 OH of the carbon C1 in the glucose and OH in the carbon C2 of thionose. 
सॉरी फ्रक्टोज थैंक यू विजिट एग्जाम फी डॉट कॉम टू वॉच मोर वीडियोज अटेम फ्री ऑनलाइन टेस्ट गेट फ्री स्टडी मेटेरियल्स फाइन ट्यूटर्स एंड मेंटर्स एंड मच मोर थैंक्स अगेन